do you want to date or like what's the deal <laughs> boomer jokes of like i hate my wife so we got married because i'm a cheap bitch <laughs> um Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Yvette and I'm a UK travel and lifestyle blogger, vlogger. <laughs> Trying a new intro, don't know if it's working. Since Valentine's Day has just come and gone, I thought I'd do a relationship Q&A with you guys. Um, you guys sent me these over on Instagram, so go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Um, I often ask for questions there, so you can be in the video. If not, I'm gonna have a general Q&A um, tab on the community tab, so you can have a look there as well if you have any questions. But um, for this one, it's just all about my relationship. Since we've been together for 64 years, um, I feel like I have to catch you guys up a little bit because it's one of those assumed things. He's just always been there in my videos. So I thought this could be the time. So first question got the most was, how did we meet? Um, now, Daniel and I, admittedly, I don't remember meeting him. <laughs> um, so. We met at school, we went to school together. Um, I have technically known him. I've technically known him since I was 12, but I don't remember any of that and I don't remember meeting him. So does it count? Questionable. Um, he's not the happiest about that. <laughs> but technically I've known him since I was 12. I don't remember meeting him. Um, we were in the same friend group at school. I went to a co-ed school. Um, and so he, uh, my best friend, he lived around the corner from her. So if we were ever like in the neighborhood and we were like, oh, see who's free to hang out. Like he was always free to hang out, which obviously now we know why, but um, we'd always go on like walks and that around the area. And so being very close geographically where we were, um, he was always, uh, yeah, available to hang out with. So I spent a lot of time with him through our friend group. And they also went to the same primary school. So, so yeah, through school, we're childhood sweethearts. Yeah. The next most common question I had was how long have you been together? Um, so I said we met when we were 12. That doesn't, we weren't dating then, obviously. Um, we didn't start dating till we were 16. Um, so that's a long time. Um, so we started it, we've been dating since we were 16. Um, you can do the maths on that one. Um, so yeah, 2007, which is crazy because there'd be people watching this that are born then, <laughs> which is crazy. So yeah, we've, yeah, almost been, half our lives together which is over half our lives knowing each other which is crazy um and then we got married in our early 20s which leads me to my next question are you religious which is like i always feel the need to to hit the nail on the head <laughs> um because whenever people find out that we're childhood sweethearts and we got married and we were all very young they're always like bet you were in a church absolutely not <laughs> um i am i'm I am so anti-religion, I'm basically the antichrist. Um, no offense to anyone religious, it's just not my vibe, um, not my thing. <laughs> I'm a proponent that a lot of Catholic churches are cannibalistic cults, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yes, not religious in the slightest. Why do we get married when we were 20? Um, that was largely due to my mum, who once again, not religious. We don't know why she's the way she is. She was basically like, oh, you can't, you can't go on holidays together. You can't uh, like stay in the same room or anything unless you're married, like into our twenties. So we were like, and then she also had the, the caveat that we got married before we lived together. She would pay the wedding. But if we didn't, if we lived together and then got married, she wouldn't pay for the wedding. So we got married cause I'm a cheap bitch. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was just like, all right, then I'll get married. Like I can always get divorced if it doesn't work out. Like. I don't care. Um, sounds like a great excuse for a free party is where my brain went. So we did that, which is the most like early 20s thought of all time is yes, I'll have a party for free. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was a wedding. Uh, here's a wedding photo. It's very early 2000s, wait, mid 2000s. How did we know we wanted to get married? Well, they and like, I just somewhat answered that one about like that. But I will say the wedding formalities was very much the doing of my mum. However, choosing to be life partners, we were already there. And I will say that I think in this day and age, I don't even think I would get married. <laughs> Cause like, it's so expensive, like to pay for. So for our wedding up, um, both parents went halves and obviously they're at a better 
they're at like a later life stage, they have more disposable income than someone in their 20s. You know, someone in their 50s has much more disposable income than someone in their 20s, so it's, it's not as big an ask for them to spend money on a wedding, whereas for one couple to pay both halves on their own in their 20s is crazy. Um, I think I genuinely would have eloped and I've also become like a radical feminist that I think I just revolt against the whole thing. So in a way I'm really glad I got married early because I think it's an experience I wouldn't have if I did it now. Um, but yeah, we were, I think the biggest thing and like, I don't know, I hate, I don't give, I don't like giving advice because obviously like everyone's situation is different and I absolutely do not think I'm an expert in any way, shape or form. The best thing I find about our relationship and thing that's like made us be successful, at least I think, is that we were friends first, we were best friends in the same friend group, um, and then we dated. So we had a really strong foundation of uh, friendship and respect and love, at least in a platonic, but not platonic obviously, way. Um, and we see them, and, and I think that's been honestly the, the best thing. So realistically, romance and that is like, 10 to 15% maybe of like your relationship. The rest of the time you've actually just got to like the person. <laughs> like, so we, when we were younger, we would play video games and go exploring and go out and do things. And so we still do all that. Um, I still just like to play video games with him, just like when we were 15. So it makes, um, makes marriage and life a lot easier when it's just like, you just like hanging out with them because you were friends, you know? It's just like hanging out with your friends. Why do you hang out with your friends? Because you like them as people. <laughs> so um, I think it's much more sustainable and there's a bit more longevity to that foundation than, which is why I, th I completely understand not everyone has that option. And I think, you know, in the current culture of like online dating and, you know, Tinder and all that is like, there's already a presumptive romance thing. So hard to achieve, but if you can, I recommend. Just like being with them, I nothing worse than seeing like boomer jokes of like, I hate my wife and I'm like, don't be with them. Like I would honestly rather be alone <laughs> than be with someone who hates being with me. <laughs> absolutely not. Next question was who made the first move? So this will absolutely sound vintage as hell, but we used to chat on MSN back in the day and I used to chat all afternoon and night. One, I don't even remember. I wish I had the chat log still, it would have been fantastic. I wonder if I can sign in. My email used to be angel babe. <laughs> um, yes, so Daniel's friend liked me and then Daniel was acting weird and I was just like, tell me what's wrong, tell me what's wrong. Like, we can do this song and dance, but I'm not gonna let go until you tell me. Which honestly, we're still kind of like that. I'm still like, just tell me or I'm gonna annoy you forever and then you're gonna tell me and you can just save us both some time and just tell me now. And that works, it worked then, works now. Um, <laughs> And then it, he was like, oh, I like you and said on, on there and that. And I was like, I remember like hyperventilating. I was like, he said it. And then I was on the phone to a, my friend, like girlfriend. And I was like, oh my God. I was like bent over being like, <gasps> like couldn't believe it. I didn't even know what to think. Um, and I think I responded with like, so what do you want to do? <laughs> like, do you want to date or like, what's the deal? <laughs> Um, I can't remember what else happened, but we obviously chatted past it. And then I remember I was in a geography class the next day and I was like really nervous because that was the first time I was seeing him in person because obviously like text and MSN and that's a bit more like veiled. It's a bit more, there's more barriers. It's, you feel a bit braver online, obviously. And then he came in and it was just like the same Daniel that I always hung out with. So it was like, oh, everything's going to be, it's going to be great. And it was, and it still is. And that's... That's how we got together. Next question was, do I get jealous? And slash, how do I handle jealousy? Um, I don't get jealous. And I'm sorry if that makes you sound big headed and it's absolutely not because I think I'm the best in any way. The reason I don't get jealous is because I, I tell Daniel, I'm like, if you want to leave, leave. Don't stay for me. I want you to stay because you want to stay, not because you feel like you need to which, and obviously he's like, I'm not, just calm down. Like he's so passive and I'm so like, eh, like dramatic. <laughs> but I'm like, I would absolutely, I encourage you if you're gonna fucking cheat on me, go ahead. I don't want, like, I'm not, don't not cheat because of me. Do you know what I mean? Like don't cheat because you don't want to, not because you're like scared of me. That said, I have told him that 
if he did cheat on me, I'm like, you know, when people are like, I will kill you if you cheat on me. I've never said that to him in my life. I have said, you'll wish you were dead <laughs> and I will, because <laughs> I'll ruin your life. Um, my plan for anyone who wrongs me is to put them on a sex offender list because then you have to disclose that to everyone and that follows you for life. And that's, I don't know how to get them on that, but I would absolutely get them on a sex offender list. In general, I'm like, absolutely please don't stay for the sake of me. Stay because you're happy and you like spending time with me. That's what I want. Also, I'm a hot as hell. <laughs> joking, absolutely joking. Do we have nicknames? No, and this is point of contention for my name because my name doesn't have a nickname and it rages. Like Yvette doesn't have a nickname. And we don't, I've never done babe. And this was so like, such a weird thought looking back as a 15 year old. I hated the idea of calling each other babe. Cause then I was like, well, if we break up, you're going to call someone else babe. And that's like the same nickname you called me. So like, no, <laughs> I don't want, like, it seems like if you have a nickname, you're like calling the, your same partner, the same thing. It just seems weird to me that they would use the same nickname on multiple partners, like something generic, like babe. So I was like, absolutely not. Um, hindsight, we never broke up, so it was never a problem. So we could have gone with babe, but never mind. Um, and other than that, no, I just say Dan, Daniel. I might write Dan in a text message because it's faster. But other than, he has the nickname Barney. Um, but once again, I'll say his name in different inflections. But no, I don't, don't know, no, no nicknames. Last one, um, most common thing we argue about. Um, most common thing we argue about for me picking fights is that if I'm, if he doesn't listen to me or I feel unheard, that annoys me. It's not an argument, um, although it can be. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm an only child that didn't get listened to and now that's a real trigger for me. Um, and for him, to, the thing is, we don't argue that much because if he's like, you didn't do this, I'm like, I know I'm a terrible person. I'm a piece of crap completely my fault, blame me. <laughs> like I have zero problem taking responsibility for things, even if it's not my fault. So it's really hard to pick a fight with someone who's like, you're right, I'm trash. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, there's no real fights there just cause I'm the equivalent of like laying down being like, I know <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to fight you on this. Uh, I genuinely don't genuinely, generally and genuinely do not like conflict. So it's not really a thing. And it's gone to the point where, you know, you just learn. So if I know he's very like, can't multitask. So if I'm like, don't try and talk to him while he's cooking. Cause he's obviously trying to cook, you know? Or I'll say, when you get a second, I want to show you something. So like, when you've got time, pay attention to me. <laughs> Things like that. I have a lot of those. So it's just like all about communication, mostly, you know, understand what's your trigger and how to offset it. Cause you can't control other people, but you can change how you behave. So. I'll always be patient or wait to get their full attention to make sure I don't get angry about not having attention. Anyways, that's all for this one. Um, tell me more. Tell me if you like these Q and A's. Like I said, um, Instagram will have more opportunities for Q and A as well as the community tab on, feel free to leave some over there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me in the comments below any other questions as well. Um, I'll collate them all. Um, and I can do a part two if you have any other relationship questions. Should I bring Daniel in for the next one? Um, remember to hit subscribe so I can see you next time.